Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an artist. I do a lot of different things, but in today's video we're gonna be learning how to make this baby right here. It's a broken china piece that I made yesterday for the first time and of course I have to share it with you. I know that a lot of you here because of soldering and I really neglected you. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna try to do a series of videos in which I'm gonna be showing you some cool techniques and inspirations and jewelry that I've been making that's gonna be soldering related. I've had three espressos, three. Um, I'm still drinking one, so you're gonna have to put up with this. I'm sorry. Um, this is the cup that I made, showing off my ceramics. Anyway, let's start making some jewelry and I'll show you everything that I learned, all the tips, all the tricks, and I hope that's gonna be inspirational for you and I hope that you will make something super cute. Oregano. Let me tell you what you will need for this tutorial. Let me walk you through supplies. So this is the setup that I have. It's very Pinterest. I know you're gonna have to trick yourself into a making the, your space looking Pinterest so you will actually work. Um, let me walk you through what I have here. So the first one is my trusty um, soldering iron. If you can hear my dog breathing in the back, I'll try to kick her out. Let's see, it's gonna be so rude. Sorry, Lucky. Lucky, you have to go. So the first thing you will need is the soldering iron. It's a great the one where you can adjust the temperature. It's not turned on, I will turn it on in a minute. Um, and it's amazing, I'll link it down below. The next thing, you will need a flux. We talked about it in my prior video, if you guys watched the video uh, that I'm talking about, I'll link it down below. This is amazing, it doesn't give out a lot of fumes. Use this. The other one was like a paste that I was using, it was terrible. So use some, use this Flux, this is a really good um, brand and it's made in the US. Or so they say, okay? Then you will need this, which is a lead free soldering wire. It was pretty, it was pretty pricey, 30 something dollars, but it lasts, it will last you for a long time. I'm still using the same one that I bought. Then you will need a beautiful, or I mean any really, a porcelain cup. Better, guys, if you have a plate because this has curves and it might not be ideal for what you want to do. So a plate, flatter surface would be better, okay? So, but that's all I have, so that's what I'm using right now. You would need a conductive tape, a copper tape. I mentioned that in my other video as well. This is um, this comes in sets of two. I'll link it down below. Again, I don't get any commission for that. This is all safe to buy because this is just the tools that I've been testing using and they actually work. You would need that to attach solder onto your pieces, onto the uh, porcelain. Just some tiny little scissors you will need. You know, any scissors will do. I'll be working with something that I've already kind of broke yesterday. That was a cup. I have a shorts on my channel. Um, so I'll be using these pieces. So I'm not gonna be breaking this because I'm, I feel bad anyway. I, this is enough right now. Another thing you will need, and that is third arm tool. Hand or third arm, third hand tool, third hand. I am liking it a lot. It's pretty sturdy. It has weight. This is for you to uh, hold pieces while they while you're soldering because they get really, really, really hot. So you need that. Okay. So then, um, since we're gonna be working on the pendant, um, on this pendant, something like that, you will need uh, some jump rings. I'm using silver because the solder is silver. I will be talking in another video how to make this gold. It's coming, I'm still like figuring out the process, so I don't have the answer for you just yet. But because I'm, I'm working with silver, I'm gonna be using silver um, jump rings. These are actually sterling silver. I bought them in the bulk. I have a lot of them, they don't tarnish. So I try to use things that don't tarnish. So then, just a dish to keep your things in place. I proudly made that clay dish. I have a tutorial how to make this as well. You will need a mat. I 
was not using mats for a while because I was just like not thinking if I'm gonna get into soldering or not but that was a game changer I'll find it in my Amazon I'll link it as well it's great it's like slanted a little bit so even if you have any beads sometimes you solder and beads kind of roll down so it's good to have them a mat that kind of keep keeps um, all the um, residue from soldering out of your way they kind of roll down They're, it's slightly slanted and it has all the little com compartments here which I don't really use but I feel like it's really useful they have numbers I think they're for motherboards I don't know for people that know what they're doing with soldering and not just making crazy things like I do so they're probably used for these but I don't really use it but I might it's great it's great and it's like um better for you to use it because it's I think it's heat proof matte that's what it is the next thing you will need, any tools that will help you work with um, your piece, so any jewelry tools you guys have. I have a bunch of, um, I think those are called pliers, right? Why am I blinking? This tool for, cramp, for cramp, cramping beads, right? That's what it's called. A set of filing tools you will need, so I bought them on Amazon, but at least one filing tool you will need. If you don't have it, that's okay to use sanding paper. You might need it, you might not need it, but if you are to form sharp uh, pieces of solder at the back of your piece, like right here, I was working on this, and then when I flipped it, it has those sharp edges, you don't see them now because I filed them, then you will need to file this these things using a filing set or a sanding paper, and basically, you do that so people don't hurt themselves, but like, that's what you need them for. Someone texted me and ruined this uh, whole video. You will need a hammer and you will need some kind of towel that you will throw away or use paper towel to break the plate or to break the cup that you'll be using um, to upcycle it, to make jewelry out of it. I am not going to be breaking this because I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. I will cheat a little bit and I will insert a video of me breaking one of the cups yesterday that I yeah, I posted a shorts as I mentioned. So I'll insert it here. I suggest you wrapping it with paper towel or a regular towel, but paper towel is better because you can just dispose it, like throw it away. If you use a regular towel, there's a chance that you might still, if you decide to wash it, like the glass will get somewhere and like we don't want that so use a paper towel okay wrap it once was enough for me but maybe to be safe you can double wrap it and then just use a hammer and smash it you know just 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 hit it a couple times and then sometimes it will shatter perfectly and sometimes it will be too big so do it again wear glasses goggles to protect you or mask um or both but uh, wrapping it should should keep you safe so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, okay, so we broke our beautiful piece and um, everyone's giving us dirty looks, I know, I feel bad, I feel bad. I do pottery, I know how long it takes. If it's not machine done, uh, like if it's handmade, it's like so much work, so I feel bad, trust me, myself. But you've broken your piece, so you've broken your vase, or I keep saying vase, um, a plate or a, a cup and now we have these beautiful pieces so obviously these are giant I love a ring like that but I'm crazy and I'm not gonna do this in your in this video but pieces this um, this size are fine for like a necklace or maybe a necklace that goes kind of like that and you connect a couple pieces together for a bracelet I'm new to this technique so I don't know yet what you can I haven't done another pieces to give you a full variety of ideas but I will figure out how to make a charm and that's what we're going to be doing today a charm or earrings so let's begin I'm not sure if it's going to be a voiceover or not but I'm going to start with plugging this guy in keep your windows open you're going to need a mask I forgot about safety okay that is really important I'm going to be using this because I am paranoid, as I mentioned in my other video. This is the iron, right? There is a, a switch right here. You just turn it on and it starts to heat up. I had a question in my uh, comments, actually, which I will be answering a lot of them at some point in a little Q&A video. Um, so basically, someone asked me why am I soldering at 450? Because uh, I realized that everything over that would be too melty, would be too hot for my iron. 
But then I also realized that I'm an idiot and I am setting stuff in Celsius, but this is, but you guys are doing most of the things in Fahrenheit. I'm sitting at 450 range thinking that's Fahrenheit, but it's actually Celsius and it's really 837. So it's, it's a lot. Okay. Celsius, but maybe for this video, let's, I guess let's do it in Fahrenheit. So it's easier for you guys. I'm going to put on my mask because safety first. So we, the first thing we will be doing is we will be actually, uh, we degreased it with our alcohol, right? The next thing you're going to cut some tape, the copper tape that I mentioned in, uh, earlier. We, I like to start with a bigger piece. So as I mentioned, we are working on like, I like this and I like, and I like this combination. I feel like it's cute. It has some story like this way. This is cute, right? It looks like it continues. Let's start with the biggest one. So let's wrap, fake wrap, how much you will need. So you will need this much. Cut a little more, just tear it. You don't have to use scissors. You could, but you don't have to. We're gonna peel. And as I mentioned in my other video, do not touch this with your hands. It's gonna get less adhesion and then you're gonna be in trouble when you're working with this so don't touch it with your fingers okay you peel it if it's fresh really important try to evenly attach it to the to the piece okay so peel the whole thing i like to work be careful you can tangle but you will know you will know how to handle it the more you work with the piece with pieces with, with soldering so let's zoom in so you can guys see it better okay so now we're gonna carefully, don't like kind of um, stretch it so it is snug, like don't leave any gaps here and just rotate it and super easy. Attach this whole thing to the um, porcelain. So here's the thing I'm gonna talk about you about while I'm doing this. I don't have, I haven't been using any Dremel or any sanding tools yet. I was kind of lucky to break it in the way that it wasn't sharp, like the edges were not sharp, but I think there are instances where edges are too sharp and you need to sand them. I'm not there yet, I don't know how to do this yet, so we're not there yet. Overlap the end, the cars are crazy today, I don't know what's going on. And that's what you're gonna have from both ends, right? Overlap it and then just start pressing. Just press. The corners are just do that, that's it's gonna be fine whatever you do corners are tricky sometimes i wish i left more room here but you know we're learning it's okay like i like to have it more uniform and uniform and have like even uh, it's you know it could be different look like i didn't do a good job because it's i'm nervous like you guys looking i'm filming you know what i mean like and i'm sitting in the awkward position it's excuses i know but what I'm saying is that it would be nice if you were to have it all evenly wrapped. When this edge, I like at least, when this edge is all beautiful, it doesn't have this. Like, don't do what I did. You see? Like, it's missing. It could be a look. Like, it could be a look, you know? But um, it's still gonna look cute, I feel like, anyway. So this is part one. Let's now make sure it's snug. So use your the, this side of the pliers. Pliers or tweezers? Can you let me know down in the comments below how wrong am I saying this? I'm so sorry. Uh, pliers, I think. Pliers? Are pliers the... Maybe those are tweezers? I, I, I confuse them all the time. So basically, just make sure you do this, kind of those motions, but don't do it too hard. You're going to tear it, okay? Don't do it too hard. So don't use your fingers. You know why? This is sharp and you can cut yourself. So usually if it's a natural stone, I kind of, kind of do this. But because this is, um, you know, it's called varnishing, I think that's what I'm doing right now. I'm varnishing the edges of each side like that, I'm varnishing it. But don't do it too much, you're going to break it, I already said that. So, when you're happy and it's smooth, right, and it's smooth enough, maybe like, yeah, just double check, make sure everything is great and snug and beautiful. And let's... Um, to save us some time and kind of move forward and it's good to actually go here in the back and also smooth it. Maybe, maybe I'm using super thin, um, tape for this project. Now I'm thinking I'm learning with you, right? So it says two by, I don't understand how that reads a quarter of an inch. I don't know. Okay. Quarter of an inch. Is this quarter of an inch? Maybe we need more than quarter of an inch. Like, 
I'm, I'm a metrics girl, I'm sorry. So this is, seems to be maybe for this piece, I need something with a bigger real estate, right? To hug this piece. So, you know, it's okay. They sell different ones on Amazon. So the next piece you will be doing uh, will be your second piece. So again, like go and estimate how much you will need. Wrap it, fake wrap it. Okay, so you will need like this much. Tear a piece. If your hands got greasy, do this, you know, just dry them. Make sure that you are not, um, try to get as less oils as possible in your pieces. So we're doing the same thing, okay? I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna come back, okay? We're just gonna wrap it like we did the first one. Okay, I just want to reiterate something real quick. So why is it important to keep the copper tape very snug and not loose and make sure there's no grease so it doesn't peel off is because when you add solder onto this what could happen your solder could completely like break off make sure you are using something to degrease it it's done um so these pieces are done and now i'm going to be i'm going to try to rip this this is polymer clay so it's plastic i guess polymer it's it's epoxy sculpt so I don't know if, it, if sorter will work on it so this is our little experiment you know okay I don't know if this will even work Oregano. Mm -hmm. Every time you want to sort you put it back, you put it back so you don't hurt yourself. You grab this thing, I'm going to zoom out, you have this thing here, you have your, your flux solution, right? Damp your brush. Let's move this piece out of the way. Not too much because it, it is, I've been making a lot of um, smoke. I just want to talk to you about these pieces. So. Sometimes you can see that there is um, uh, like a fold right here. I suggest, I don't know if you can see, okay, hold on, let's see. I don't know if you can see the fold, but there is a fold right here. Uh, snip it off. Don't, don't leave it because it will mm, not behave well whenever you are soldering. So try to make it as flat as possible. So just cut it, you know, you have this opportunity now. Um, I had to uh, do something else real quick, so that's why I got distracted. I am back. Anyway, so let's continue. I don't know if it's a poetic lighting or terrible and you guys cannot see anything. I guess I will see it in the production, in a post-production. So I'm wearing a mask, right, and I'm making sure everything is evenly coated, covered, and, and that's what you guys do as well. I went to Costco. I'm sorry. I'm back. Hi guys, voiceover Eugenia here. So in this video, I actually came up with a trick that I've been thinking to do for a while. And that's basically a trick how to attach jump rings um, using clay. So as you can see here, I just grab a piece of clay. If you guys don't have clay, you can use any other material. It could be polymer clay or anything. It could be even a piece of dough, like so crazy. And you can place a jump ring in that <gasps> clay How or easy. a piece of dough or anything that you guys have that's like pliable i don't suggest you using chewing gum but you can i know it's gross a little bit but anyway you you grab that and then you place jump ring on the top actually like that like like so on the top of the little shape that you created and it makes attaching jump ring so easy look um so now we're going to put this together which is super easy it's just 
connecting two things together. I don't need to wear a mask right now. So I have a jump ring. I'm going to just put this together. This is one and that is two. And I need to get the pliers to connect it together. Let's get a tiniest bit of solder. I'm going to put a little um, drop here to seal this boy. Probably need to use flux. Still even for the tiny little amount. Okay, and it's perfectly sealed. So now it will never open. Let's see, let's see what we did. Let's see what we came up with. <gasps> Look at that. Look how cute. Like look, look, we just made it. How easy. And it looks so cute. And now we have, so now we have two. How cute. Guys, I think they're gonna be earrings at this point. I don't know, what should they be? Should they be earrings? I think they should be earrings, right? Yes, earrings. Let me go get the hoops. I have like the no, the bases for the earrings. One second. That work as well. So I have these. These could work. I kind of think the first ones are better than these. So I have these, and they won't tarnish. This is actually silver. Yeah. Kind of cute. With these, or we should use these instead these are kind of like elegant but maybe these are more practical i don't know maybe with these is too long i feel like these ones right cute i think these ones right we need probably two jump rings now i'm gonna close this as is So now they're even more dangly and I like it. Like I'm gonna keep it this way. Look. Ta-da! I mean, and this is how you make gorgeous earrings, like in an hour. We're not done yet because we're gonna have to finish this Caparelli earring. So continue watching if you would like. If not, this was the tutorial. You can hop off. <laughs> But if you want to stay here for this weird one, let's experiment together. Welcome to part two. Oh, this is what I'm doing, see? This is what I'm doing. The eye is covered in copper. This is the piece that I'm gonna be play placing this with. I'm not gonna show you my face because I have like lines after the mask, but this is how it looks. I will show you the problems that I'm talking about. You see the inside, there's a little bit of glue that popped off from the back side of the eye. But because it's my own work, I don't like the glue. So let me try to even more zoom. You see there's a glue, there's a little bit of glue, but you can barely see it, but it's just a little too dark, so the eye is not pronounced, and I and I and I admit this mistake. So for future, I have to leave it open more because let's compare it to the other one. Obviously, it's a bigger eye. Imagine how cool this would look in pendant. I don't want to be ruining it this way with solder. Now I know. Good that I tested on an old, like a smaller piece. I'm going to be probably drilling through holes here. Or again, the idea is to work with poly. Oh my gosh, epoxy sculpt, always called polymer clay, but it's epoxy sculpt. Then not gold leaf it, then just cover it with tape, with copper tape, and then do the soldering. This is how it looks in the back. I mean, it's cool. I like it. Okay, and this is the second earring that we made. Like, Etsy, Pinterest, very Pinterest. They look profesh, if you ask me. Like if I saw them at the flea market or something, or like at the anthropology store, I think I would have bought these. I like this one a lot. I like this one a lot. Now two, there is room for perfection, obviously, but I think overall we succeeded.